Hello guys and gals, this is Code for Geek and I'm your friend Adesh. Whenever you talk about any other Linux distribution in the Linux community, you get these comments like, Oh, I use Arch by the way. Because Arch Linux is one of the most popular Linux distributions out there. Now, elitism comes from the installation process of the Arch, which one may refer to as scary, but it has got an easier wait time, especially with the Arch install script. People also like the Arch user repository or the AOR, which is like a huge library of all the applications which are not present in the official repositories of the distribution. And there is no other thing like it on any other Linux distribution. And since you pretty much install everything from scratch on this distro, there is no bloatware. And the system is very fast. And that's why people use Arch primarily to install any kind of window manager that you may have heard of, such as i3 or Hyperland or Sway or anything like that. Now, as I said earlier, Arch can be installed either via the old method, which takes time, or using the Arch install script, which still requires some skill. But what if I tell you that there is another way? And this third method is just installing Endeavor OS. You can get a basic Arch install with this OS with a GUI installer. So it's extremely fast and unlike Manjaro, you don't get any kind of bloatware and it's all optional. So ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about Endeavor OS and to be precise, we will install Endeavor OS in a virtual machine. The process is very similar to installing it on a desktop or a laptop, so you can follow along. Before we proceed, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more such Linux videos on your feed. To install this on a PC or laptop, you will need a USB flash drive with at least 4GB of storage. And then you need to download Ventoy. Using this tool, you can flash the ISO to your USB device. So go to the Ventoy website, download the installer, and then also go to the Endeavor OS website and download the ISO file. Once the ISO is downloaded, plug in your USB drive and launch Ventoy. From here, click on the install Ventoy button. And then once Ventoy is installed, just copy paste the ISO file to your USB device. Once that's done, you need to figure out which of the keyboard button will lead you to the BIOS menu of your PC. You can either Google it, but it's usually escape, F2, F10, F12, etc. And sometimes it's the delete key. From the BIOS menu, make sure you boot from the USB device and not from the internal storage of your device. And once you boot from the USB device, you will see a Ventoy screen. From here, select Endeavor OS. Alright, so from here you can select the default option if you have an AMD or Intel GPU or CPU. But if you have an NVIDIA card, you have to select the NVIDIA option from this BIOS screen. Now, as you can see, this is the KDE Plasma desktop of Endeavor OS and you'll be immediately greeted with the welcome dialog box. Before installing the OS, I recommend to update the mirrors, which is Arch Reflector Simple, Arch Rate Mirrors, as well as the Endeavor OS mirrors. This will help you download the updates faster and it is usually recommended to do that before running the actual installer of Endeavor OS. So yeah, now my country is India and I'll also select the worldwide mirrors and then I'll hit OK. And now hit save. Similarly, I can update all the mirrors. Once you're done, just press enter to close the window and then run the installer. Since we are going for an online install, I will just select online. But if you want to install just the KDE Plasma desktop, you can select the offline installer. But it is usually recommended to do everything online as it will also apply all kind of updates for you. So yeah, this is the Calamars installer and from the first screen, you can select your language, which is just American English. Next, select your time zone and then select your keyboard layout. Now, one thing I find weird is that English India is not present in English, but it has its own separate category, which is Indian. And from there, I have to select English India. I don't know why that is, but it's just like that. From here, you can select KD, Plasma, GNOME or any other desktop environment. But if you want stock Arch experience, you can select no desktop from here and later install any kind of window manager such as Hyperland or anything else. For now, I'll select the KD Plasma desktop. 
From this screen, you can select all kind of applications which you want installed on your PC. And uh, as you can see, there are various categories such as desktop based, common packages, Endeavor OS applications and so on. If you don't want Endeavor OS applications, you can just disable it from here. Recommended applications include all kind of terminal tools and similarly Endeavor OS applications help you with the daily stuff such as updating applications and so on. I'm going to enable uh, Endeavor OS branding and everything as to show you what's the main difference between Arch and Endeavor OS. And I will also recommend you to install the LTS kernel as it is really recommended if you want a stable system in case a new kernel breaks something. And I will also select the printing support as it will install the CUPS printer drivers. Optionally, you can also select the HP printer drivers, but I don't need that and I will leave it unselected. Alright, so whenever you are done, just hit the next button. And this screen is asking you to select a bootloader and the default bootloader grub is fine but later on you can install any kind of bootloader such as refined or anything like that. But for now let it be grub bootloader. Since we are installing it on a virtual machine, erase disk option is fine. But if you are dual booting then I'll recommend you to do manual partitioning. And I will also select the file system to be butterfs as it is easier to take backups on this file system. Now just create your name, your username, add the name of your PC, your passwords, etc. And because I'm on a virtual machine, I'll just select the option to log in automatically upon booting. But I will recommend you not to do that as it will leave your PC insecure. Just hit next and this screen will show you all kind of changes this installer is going to make to your PC. So just make sure everything is correct and whenever you are done, just click on the install button. You can check the logs now by clicking on this button and it will show you a detailed guide of whatever the installer is doing on your PC. Just let the installer run and go grab a coffee. Whenever you are done, it will ask you to restart your PC and just make sure to remove the USB flash drive which you have inserted in your PC when this PC is rebooting. Right, so just select Endeavor OS and as you can see it is using the LTS kernel for booting. Alright, so this is the KDE Plasma desktop as you can see we are using Endeavor OS Mercury and this is the KDE Plasma desktop. Let me actually change the display scaling settings so you can see better on the screen. Alright, so my KDE Plasma has crashed, so I just restarted the PC and what I want you to do is update the mirrors once again and select your country and worldwide server and just hit OK. And similarly update Endeavor OS repo as well. You can also download Endeavor OS wallpapers in case you need more beautiful wallpapers. They have a good collections by the way. And let me actually change it back to 175 or 150% so that the scaling is a bit better than what it is right now. And you can select the downloaded wallpapers from this directory. You can configure absolutely everything from this uh, welcome screen and you can add more apps etc. And as you can see the applications are categorized as well so it is really easy for new users. I don't need anything from the audio players and so on. Firefox is already installed. You can choose Telegram desktop or any other communications app. What I will recommend to install is the Office Suite. This is the LibreOffice Suite and it will be helpful since we don't have Microsoft Office on uh, Linux. So LibreOffice is really helpful. And I will also recommend the Qubit Torrent Torrent client as you definitely need one if you're on Linux. Just hit install now and then enter your password and then hit OK. Let me actually quickly verify the kernel as well. So as we can see, we are using a 6.12.19 LTS kernel since we have installed the LTS kernel from before. And as I have mentioned before, Arch is famous for the AUR and you can browse the AUR packages from right here. And from this page, you can search and just type Y-S and then the package name to install all kind of AUR packages on your system. Let's actually install the PAMAC AUR package from the Arch user repository. This is a graphical application manager for the AUR packages and it can be really helpful if you are not familiar with the command line. So this is all the dependencies. Just hit enter, just hit enter again and then press enter again to confirm the installation.
once pamac is installed you can just search from the start menu for pamac and as you can see it appears as add remove software rather than pamac and yes this is the pamac interface you can go to preferences and it will ask for your password i don't like to check for updates automatically uh, if i want to update my base i'll do that manually and uh, you can configure things like parallel downloads you can clear cache you can check for available disk space remove unrequired dependencies and so on from the third party tab you can enable the aor support just close the settings out and as you can see several applications are already installed on our pc and you can choose to uninstall them if you want since we have already vlc and mbv media player installed i will just uninstall haruna player and uh, yeah not much is really pre-installed with this os so i'm just going to hit apply and this will uninstall everything that i have selected this is really helpful uh, if you are really scared of the terminal or if you don't want to search for the package names online. You can also check out the theme of Endeavor OS and it gives you four themes which is Breeze, Breeze Dark, Breeze Endeavor OS as well as Breeze Twilight theme. And I would say the default theme looks good but you know it's good to try out different things and see what you like. And it's Linux so you can configure basically everything about the KDE desktop environment. Alright, so that is it for this video guys. If you have any questions or doubts about Arch Linux or Endeavor OS, you can just put them down in the comments and I will make sure to respond to you as quickly as I can. See you in the next one.